All Yemenis have accepted the Gulf Cooperation Council initiative except Houthi militia. This has confirmed the fact that Houthis cannot support peaceful solutions. The only thing they seem to know is further escalation. This report has more details. The coalition has backed Yemen's government in its decision to pause military operations in the war-torn country during Ramadan. This move aims to boost the chances of the Gulf Cooperation Council's negotiations to resolve the conflict. The coalition's decision, which went into effect on Wednesday, came after the GCC Secretary General called for a halt to military operations during intra-Yemeni negotiations in Saudi Arabia. Coalition spokesperson Turki al Maliki said in a statement that the Joint Forces Command of the coalition announced halt of military operations in Yemen beginning at 6 a.m. Wednesday, March 30, 2022, in response to the GCC chief's request. He said the initiative aimed to create favorable conditions for the consultations and an encouraging environment for Ramadan. The discussions began on Tuesday, with the U.S. and the U.N. providing strong support. The Iran-backed Houthi militia, on the other hand, declined to attend, demonstrating its continued rejection of any peace initiatives. The group's rejection will not deter the coalition from continuing its efforts to bring about a political solution to the conflict, which began in 2014 when the Houthis seized the capital Sana'a and large swaths of territory. Iran has made a statement backing the reluctance of the Houthis to join the negotiations. Meanwhile, the militia has detained three Yemeni civil rights advocates who were planning to attend the Riyadh talks. Diplomats from the United States, the United Kingdom, and the United Nations are in attendance. This is great news for the Yemeni people, as the world will bear witness to how the Iran-backed militia is doing everything it can to prolong the conflict, sabotage all peace attempts, terrorize the Yemeni people, and deny them the right to live in peace and dignity. The United States and others who have been hesitant to label the Houthi group as a terrorist organization and put pressure on its sponsor, Iran, may have needed this wake-up call to begin supporting the coalition's efforts to restore Yemen's stability and territorial unity.